Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Dante from Hack the Box. So if you guys aren't familiar with Dante, it's a Pro Labs subscription-based lab. We'll get into it more when I share my screen. But if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's jump into it and have some fun. All right, folks. So here I am, I'm logged into my Hack the Box account. I am not connected to anything. So probably a lot of folks are used to going to machines and you can see the active machines and retired machines and machines, you know, to-do list. This is, I don't even know when I did this, long time ago. And then schedule box releases. You can see when there's a uh, box is gonna be released. So obviously Hack the Box is a massive platform, right? They have the academy, they have labs, they have enterprise, they have consumer, so many different avenues. I even get confused, to be honest, right? But this video is about the Pro Labs. So on the left hand side, when you log in, you can go to Pro Labs here. And in the Pro Labs, you can see that there's multiple labs here. You have this, I think just came out today. I might check this out, the full house. It's a beginner, but it's by AI. If you come down here, it's about AI and, and machine learning lovers. I'm not really about that, but I really want to give it a try. But I think I might do Zephyr next. A lot of people are saying Zephyr, uh, Cybernetics, Offshore. There's a lot of good stuff. And uh, I don't know about APT Labs. Let's see what that's about. I have no idea. Uh, okay, it's an ultimate red team challenge. So it's way out of my league right now. So let's just come back to... Dante where this is all about So What Dante is if you come down here, you know Dante LLC, you know, it pretty much Walks you through or you have to do a penetration test on Dante LLC Just like it says and what you're gonna learn about it is if you come down here You know, it's a level one red team operator, you know, you can hone in on your offensive security uh, craft and all that good stuff, right? So who is this for, right? And I asked that question for myself. Who is Dante for? Is it for me, for you, for the next person? So let me make this a little larger and uh, so we can easily read it. So the lab is aimed to for beginners and junior penetration testers, right? So Dante, common, uh, Dante features common vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and attack paths seen in a realistic engagement. And I'll give my uh, two cents on that shortly. It's an excellent opportunity for users to increase their knowledge on both Linux and Windows exploitation, which is very true. The skills and knowledge, understanding and familiarity with modern tools and techniques used, in perform used to perform penetration testing engagements, right? So good knowledge of networking, web application attacks, this is very true. You had to do networking, you had to do web apps, and uh, a good understanding of Linux and Windows operating system and Active Directory. You know, yes, they do have an Active Directory domain. You know, you have to attack it and do all that stuff. So the attitude and mentality. <clears throat> so patience and, you know, perseverance. So make sure you are patient, don't get honed up. If you get stuck on a box, skip it. That's what I did. I didn't do everything in order. You know, I always came back to it with a fresh set of eyes and just did it like that. I, I did it in about three days. So, and I'm not a very good CTF person to be 100% honest. And the fact that I was able to complete this in three days, I started on a Monday, this last Monday, which today's Thursday, and I completed it yesterday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I dedicated on Monday night, I think I dedicated about four hours. Tuesday, with work and everything, I think I dedicated about three three hours or something like that yesterday. So I would say a, I completed in about 10 hours. I would say total if I was to put everything in into a time frame. So about 10 hours. I didn't really time it, but that, that would be my guess. All right. So willingness to do extensive research. That is so true because there was a few boxes that I was stuck. I had to do extensive research and find the exploits for some Privesk. And uh, it was a fun experience. So yeah. 
So accept you might fail more times than you will succeed. It's part of the process. So I, I agree with this to an extent, right? You know, accept that if you if you fail a box or if whatever, if you on a machine that you're like shit, I don't know what to do. Like I said, take a step back, go get a take a walk, go to the gym, whatever you like to do, and that's what I did. When I was on, there's I think 27 flags. I think we'll we'll look at that shortly. When I was about 20 flags in, I was getting frustrated. You know, I was like, fuck, like what else can I do? But I ended up getting through it. All right. So if you come back up here. What will you gain from this pro lab with Dante, right? So you'll learn, like I said, both Linux, Windows environments. You will level up your skills on information gathering, situational awareness, and be able to exploit Windows and Linux buffer overflows. There was one buffer overflow and it was it was fun, but that, that was one of them that really, you know, I had to put my thinking cap on. And then, you know, game familiarized with Metasploit framework, much more, whatever. And then to complete this lab would demonstrate your skills in network penetration testing, including enumeration, exploitation, or exploit development, lateral movement, privilege escalation, web application attacks. Okay? So that's that, I think, right? And then you get this pretty certification, which I'll, sh I'll showcase in a bit. I think I still have mine up. If not, I can click on it. The price for this. So it's 50 bucks a month, right? So, you know, if you complete as many as you want in a month, it's only $50. Or you can do $490 a year, right? So let's see, what does it say here? And provide a write-up. Uh, do not write up to users. Uh, only enterprise. So only if you want to write up, you have to get the enterprise level, right? So for us cheapskates, we don't, we don't get anything. For us poor people. All right, so if we come back up here and we can see the lab right this is your entry point 10 10 110 i'm allowed to show this stuff i'm not showing anything bad i'm not showing flags or whatever um and yeah so you you go you submit your flag here and then you go through all of these different so you have uh 14 machines let's see does it show uh it showed it somewhere 14 machines i think it was like 27 flags here so you just come down and you just own own all the flags and um reviews i want to see if my reviews here yet infosec pat here we go this is me i really like this lab i thought it was great you know i really enjoyed it so i will give it a you know five star i saw there was some person that says some really really f to really f to really f i don't understand really what they mean by that but it was cool it was a fun learning experience so the overall overview, that's what we just read. Oh, right here, 27 flags. 27 flags and 14 machines. And it's funny because I remember seeing this just a few weeks ago, and it said intermediate. So if I was to rate this beginner, I guess I'm not, you know, like I said, a CTF master. So I would rate it at least a little bit more than a beginner. That's in my opinion. I guess this is a beginner if you're like you're a CTF expert which I'm not. So, uh, yeah. So my next journey is, uh, oh, I guess, uh, a review, I guess, uh, let me see if I have this cert on another window here. I think I downloaded it. Let me go ahead and check this out. And there goes my cert. So this is what it looks like. And it gives you this. I want to actually print this out. It looks really cool. And, you know, you put your name and you get this pretty cool little guy, right? So let's come back to here for a second and go to Pro Labs. What I'm going to be aiming for next is Zephyr. And um, I hear good things about Zephyr and bad things about Zephyr. <laughs> but um, so what is Zephyr all about? This is a great introductory to Active Directory hacking. So... If you're looking to get maybe CRTP or CRTO or maybe all these other Active Directory certifications, maybe this will give you a good prep into that. But uh, it says level one again. I don't know if this is just, I don't know. So who is this for? Obviously, basic knowledge of penetration testing tools, understanding Linux and Windows, basic understanding 
of Windows Active Directory, basic understanding of MS SQLs, web application, basic, uh, basic knowledge of PowerShell, pivoting, and knowledge of proxy change and Metasploit usage, basic Bloodhound usage, so you'd be probably tinkering with Bloodhound. In Dante, I didn't have to touch Bloodhound. So yeah, so this is, this is what's next on my agenda with Hack the Box. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So would I recommend this lab? Well, let me come back to Dante. So who would this be for and would I recommend this? I would absolutely recommend it if you are a new beginner into penetration testing and you really wanna get the understanding of how some of these tools are working, right? If you are going in for maybe OSCP or even PNPT, those are certifications that I've taken over to you know PJPT and all the, some other ones, but this one's. I want to be honest. I want to speak the truth because that's all I do, right? This Dante machines, these Dante lab was harder than the PMPT. So if you can get through this, you can pass PMPT. And I'm not saying that. I'm saying that maybe because I'm not a CTF expert. I'm more of a, you know, penetration tester, you know, traditional pen tester. So real pen testing was way easier than this. So I don't know if it's that, you know, an honest uh, comparison. But if you can do Dante, you can do PJPT, you can do PMPT. And I don't know. I don't know how the OSCP is now if they changed it, but probably even the OSCP. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my feedback, my review on this. I've learned so much, you know, from, you know, there was some SQL stuff. There was, like I said, like there was some, a lot of different techniques that I've learned. And, um, and for an example, if one thing does, I want to, I want to explain, I'm not going to say what box it was, but there was a box that we were able to get a shell with a vulnerability with Metasploit. And then every time, cause we use proxy change, right? We had the proxy chain into our internal network. And, <clears throat> excuse me, once we get an uh, initial foothold, interpreter, shell, whatever, shell wouldn't work. So if you typed in shell, mine didn't work. I had to reboot my VM about three times, reconnect to the VPN, and then it started working. I don't know if it was a glitch, but if that happens to you, that's, that's the fix. I didn't reach out to hack the box. I didn't reach out to anyone. I just rebooted and uh, reconnected to the... Um, Dante uh, hack the box uh, VPN and this is another thing I want to say right because if you've seen this if you connect to your regular VPN client you will not see this network this is on its own network so if you see connect to Dante right here in the top right here if you click on and obviously network whatever and then you can download your open VPN or you can use the, the, the poem box you know, it's all web-based and you have Parrot and, uh, in your browser. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure, like, you know, someone's like, oh, now I know the IP scheme and now I can go try to connect to it. It's not going to work. Just uh, save you the time and the headache or to try to get over. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for my review. If you guys have any input on your Dante experience, I would love to hear it. And we're on the edge of hitting 100,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. And I'll be doing a giveaway and uh, see you guys at DEF CON. And if you guys see me around, please say hello. And until next time, have a beautiful day.